Okay, so this is my Eurofighter. After a paint job and a detail uh, work. So you guys be the judge. Um, I like heavy uh, weathering. So on the pictures, when you do flights, uh, it will show a little more than, uh, than just blank uh, gray color. Uh, so this is Compar. Actually, one before Compar. Uh, I think it's a co Harbor Classic Eurofighter. Not everything is finished yet. Still need some uh, light system. And then a uh, gapping gun in the front. Uh, couple little touch ups. One extra, one cross. Uh, little details on the booms. Put some comments if you like it. Uh, I know the number is kind of big, but you know, it's visible. Like I said again, uh, it looks a little better on the pictures when you do flybys and stuff. So this one looks like uh, one uh, will come back from a Bolivian uh, force. I mean a German force, but the, the conflict in Libya and Afghanistan. I know they they do some job over there. That's my little Raphael. And I'm gripping over there. So this jet is way over 8 feet long. This airplane was damaged previously and I had a different paint job. I did fix it and uh, I did my own stuff. If you know this, this is uh, one extra divider right here. Uh, this whole canopy was cracked in pieces. So this whole thing is from a different airplane. This is original and this is original. This thing's from 80 inches. Uh, uh, Saber, BVM Saber, and I cut this thing right here, and then right here, and then replace just this part, and then seam is under right here, and right under here. Looks okay. I have no complaints. I make these dirty looking panels. Uh, this airplane has no rivets, the composite. 
Uh, so it's just the panels made of carbon fiber, a real jet. So there's no rivet anywhere. There's some uh, spring rivets in the back. And that's it. I did some extra stuff. I mean, this thing that just make to make this thing looks a little cooler. Uh, they have a titanium plate. It's not so shiny. I might do some uh, patina later. But that's it. Make some comments if you like it. Thanks for watching.